in most of the shooting video games you have seen that when you press the fire button there is a mechanism called recoil and the recoil keeps on increasing as long as you press the fire button so in this tutorial we will be doing the same if you have watched my previous tutorial on how to make bullets then you can continue with this else i suggest you to watch that first just to understand the setup so before we start with the recoil i will tell you the concept of recoil so in the real world if you think of a recoil then our gun doesn't rotate in the recoil but rather our gun stays at the same point the thing which moves is our arm so the recoil effect or the point of rotation is done by our arm or you can say it as shoulder so in our case our arm is the head node which rotates our gun from a fixed point so even our camera is a child of head so if you rotate the head node our camera even rotates so considering the head as a shoulder point of rotation it's an excellent choice so to start with the recoil we'll first go to our gun scene in the, the gun script at the beginning we will make a reference for our head node so we will write on ready war head equals to dollar sign and the head path so if you have watched my bullet video then you will be knowing how to create the reference for the node which is not in our present scene if you haven't watched my bullet tutorial then go ahead and watch now so for the quick explanation go to your main scene and you can see our current script is attached here so we will get the handgun node and again we will get the head node so to get a parent of any node we will use double dot with forward slash and to get the twice parent again we are using double dot with forward slash so after getting the reference of our head node we will create a variable called up recoil and set it to zero next create a variable called fire and set it to false next in the process function after we call the bullet dot shoot function of our bullet script then we will write fire equals to true and after this again we will write fire equals to false this i will explain in the next lines but if you don't understand this code then go ahead and watch my bullet tutorial so that you will understand the basic of this tutorial so next right if fire is true then we want to make the random horizontal and vertical movement of our gun so it's look like a recoil so to make the horizontal recoil right variable side recoil equals to rand range minus y to 5 this means we will get the random number from minus 5 to 5 which we will implement on our side recoil so next for the vertical recoil we will get a random number from 1.2 to 1.5 and store it in recoil so next our up recoil keeps on increasing when we press the fire button but not our side recoil so to increase the up recoil we will write up recoil equals to up recoil plus our recoil so we want to increase the up recoil with the time so we will just multiply it with delta so once we get the recoil points we will implement it on our head node so to rotate the head node we will write head dot rotation dot x equals to love the love function just changes the first parameter with the second parameter with the speed we provide it so in our case the first parameter is the current position of our head and the second parameter is our recoil amount plus the degree to which our head has rotated and this we will convert it to radians which present is in degree and then our speed is delta so we will do the same thing for our side recoil so after it's done for the side recoil you can see here i have just added the side recoil but not the rotation degrees just because i don't want to increase the side recoil continuously but just a random small rotation so i'm just using side recoil and the speed is delta so after this we will stop our up recoil after it exceeds a limited number so that it doesn't keep on increasing to hundreds and thousands when you press the fire button so to stop that we will write if up recoil is greater than or equal to 35 then again you are setting our up recoil to 35 so till now the recoil effect has finished only once you press the fire button so once you keep on pressing fire button and again leave the fire button our up recoil will be increased and this means that the recoil will work properly only for the first time but not for the second so to fix that we will write if we are not pressing the fire button and our can fire is true then we will set our up recoil to zero which means we are telling Godot that not to increase our up recoil when the fire button is not pressed so if you run the scene now you can see when you press the fire button the recoil effect is happening 
but our side recoil is too low to fix the side recoil we will increase the time here so to increase the time just multiply the delta by 3 and if you have watched my tutorial on how to make crosshairs then you will be knowing that we have made a simple crosshair like this so next we will just add a simple square box in center of our crosshair so to add the square select your main scene add a texture node as a child of main after adding the texture node make it as a dot and click the expand select any texture which you want in my case i am using the square texture of grid map next go to rect change the size as 5 and 5 next select the layout click on center so then our dot will be finished so if you run the scene now you can see we have a nice crosshair with the proper recoil so if you want to increase the recoil effect as in my case it's too low just change the recoil here to a higher number such as 3 and 5 or which suits on your gun so next if you run the scene now you can see we have a proper recoil with a simple crosshair so that's it for the tutorial thank you guys for watching my tutorial if you have any questions you can comment me below do like the tutorial do subscribe press the bell for the further notification updates and always have a great day